Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another special Halloween Closer Look. Today, we're going to be checking out the Euro Crypt of Christopher Lee, which is an absolutely spectacular box set that Severin Films recently put out, featuring several rarely seen films starring the master of the macabre himself, as well as all kinds of clips and interviews and other rarely seen segments. It really is a treasure trove of rarities starring Christopher Lee. A lot of stuff you may have never heard of and likely probably also haven't seen. So definitely worth checking out. There was one particular movie in it that was a major selling point for me, but all the additional goodies just made it a must-have. I busted the bank to get this thing when it came out at the start of July. So, the Euro Crypt of Christopher Lee. Today on A Closer Look on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. Well, there's quite a lot to cover with this set. It's a good one. So let's head straight down to the black table and check it out. Okay, this thing is a beast. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, what a gorgeous box set. Yeah, when I saw this get uh, announced, it was it was a must buy. I just had to had to get this one. But uh, yeah, quite a, a cool set, just absolutely loaded with rarities and hidden gems and a lot of stuff appearing on Blu-ray for the first time, and uh, it's just fantastic. So this is basically a massive hard box, nothing on the top, just uh, copyright info on the bottom. So it slides open like this, like that nice sturdy box very uh I, I like when the lip goes really high like that so it goes deep into the lid so it's nice and secure no worries about it falling off or anything like that so we have six yeah six keep cases all black and a booklet full of all kinds of goodies so let's slide all this stuff out here look at that beautiful yeah, if you're a Christopher Lee fan, as far as I'm concerned, this is a must-have. It is absolutely gorgeous. So, all black cases. So, we'll just uh, zoom in a little bit so we can get a good look at all of them. Okay, so we'll start off with 1964's Castle of the Living Dead. Not to be confused with Castle of the Walking Dead, which was an alternate title for the Torture Chamber of Dr. Sadism. But uh, very beautiful package art on this. Just love it. And quite a lot of extras. Uh, yeah, first ever authorized release of the original uncut version, scanned in 4K with new special features. So this one's black and white. And if we crack it open here. Oh, look at that. We got uh, a couple of discs and an insert. So what this is here, this is actually a compact disc of the soundtrack. And the insert gives you the full track listing for the CD. Very, very nice. So that's pretty cool. So that's Castle of the Living Dead. And then next up, we have from 1963, Challenge the Devil. Yeah. Oh, I love the the artwork on these cases. It's just gorgeous. Pure gothic horror goodness. And there we go. Lee's journey into perversion. <laughs> so, here we go. We have... Uh, the disc there and relics from the crypt 
This is really interesting. This is actually a collection of rare interviews and behind the scenes footage and all kinds of stuff. Uh, so we'll go through uh, this in a moment here. I just want to give you a look at all the package art and then we'll go through everything uh, movie by movie, disc by disc in terms of the uh, contents and the extras. So we'll just kind of do it that way. I know that's not the way I usually do it, but yeah, it's nice to mix things up once in a while. Next, we have Crypt of the Vampire. Yes, another vampire film with Christopher Lee, but not one of the Draculas. Yeah. He did a lot of movies. <laughs> so. so this one just has the trailer, so I'm pretty sure this is the one that's exclusive to the limited edition box set. Uh, that's often how Severin will do things, where they'll have a, a box set of movies, and there will be one or two movies in there that are exclusive to the box set, and then all the other stuff will get individual releases later. So definitely one of the reasons to uh, to pick up the box set. And if you're wondering, this one is from 1964 as well, and also black and white. Then we have A Rare Turn by Christopher Lee as Sherlock Holmes in The Deadly Necklace, and directed by legendary Hammer Films director Terrence Fisher, no less. So, yeah, very cool. I have a couple of other uh, Sherlock Holmes films starring Christopher Lee from, I don't know, it was the 70s or 80s, I think. But um, I had no idea he'd done an earlier one as well. So this one's from 1962, also black and white, and features an audio commentary there. So, very cool. Let me just take a look inside. Let me just give that a little, little turn there. And there we go. Love these black cases. They almost disappear into the table here. <laughs> now, this is a really cool find. We have Theater Macabre, hosted by Christopher Lee. So, this was actually an anthology horror series from the 70s that, that he hosted. And this uh, is the first time it's ever been released... I think on any home video format, at least that I'm aware of. Um, so it has 24 episodes. This is all the surviving episodes, apparently. Um, and has promos with Christopher Lee, or a promo, I guess. So very, very cool. So it's all 24 episodes. I'm guessing half-hour episodes on uh, two discs. Check out the stash. Rocking that, uh, that old-school stash there. Very nice. <laughs> And then finally, one of the big selling points for me, you know I love this movie, The Torture Chamber of Dr. Sadism, also known as Castle of the Walking Dead. It's gone by a few other titles, too. Now, I've talked about this a little bit before. Uh, there was a box set a few years ago, uh, the Hemisphere Pictures Box of Horrors, I think it was. And um, it had, at the time, the only known film prints of this. Uh, they were 16 millimeter collector's prints that they'd uh, got from private collectors, and they did high-def scans of them. And uh, those were thought to be the only prints in existence. And then, a few years later, they actually found the original negative in Germany, the original 35 millimeter negative. So this was a very necessary double dip as far as I'm concerned, because this is one of my all time favorite movies. I used to have it on an El Cheapo VHS back in the day, watched it many, many times. It's a great, uh, you know, fairly straightforward Gothic horror, but with some wonderful surreal elements. I love this movie so much. Uh, a lot of inspiration from Edgar Allan Poe. You've got a pit and a pendulum and all kinds of nefarious traps in the uh, Count's castle and stuff. Christopher Lee doesn't actually appear in the movie very much, mostly at the beginning and end. Uh, but he's talked about a lot. His character definitely has a presence throughout. But uh, anyway, when I saw the screenshots from this, compared to the old washed-out 16 millimeter nth generation prints that were used for the previous Blu-ray release, oh my god, night and day difference. This is so gorgeous. Um, yeah, so if you're a fan of this movie like I am, definitely worth checking out. And I notice a uh, pile of extras. So I have a feeling this could also be the first individual release of the film on Blu-ray. The previous one was only available. It was the exclusive movie in the box set. So it was only available in that, in that Hemisphere box set. But um, 
this one, I'm guessing, is going to get an individual release at some point, just sheerly from the volume of extras on it. Okay, so just before we get into the extras, I really want to drive home the point of what an improvement the Eurocrypt version of Dr. Sadism is over the Hemisphere Horrors version. So, sit back, relax, and behold, as we take a look at screenshots from both versions, and you can see for yourself what a difference the new one is. First up, this is from the Hemisphere Horrors collection. This is the 16 millimeter fan print amalgamated cut that they used for that Blu-ray. So, perfectly watchable, but, you know, not great as far as Blu-ray presentation goes. Well, hold on to your butts, because now let's take a look at the version that's in the Eurocrypt of Christopher Lee, where they found the original 35mm negatives in Germany. Take a look at this. agree a night and day difference and now back to the rest of this closer look speaking of which let's go through all the extras here so for the torture chamber of dr sadism we'll go in reverse order from how we looked at them here we have an audio commentary by mondo digital's nathaniel thompson and film writer troy howarth an audio interview with actress Karen Dorr, which is in German with English subtitles. A location featurette. Die Schlangrube die Berg des Grauens, German Super 8 Digest short. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and another version, Die Schlangengrube des Grafen Dracula, a different German Super 8 Digest short. Theatrical and teaser trailers, behind-the-scenes still gallery, poster gallery, and a restoration slideshow. So, yeah, if you're a fan of this movie like I am, this is pure gold. There's so much stuff. And so they found the print, and they also found the Super 8 versions as well. So they just found the mother load. And, yeah, so this is definitely a, a very prized part of my collection now. 
And then, of course, with Theater Macabre, all we have is a promo with Christopher Lee, as we looked at earlier. But that's very nice. It's just great to have that show. Then Sherlock Holmes and the Deadly Necklace. We have an audio commentary with film writers Kim Newman and Barry Forshaw. So that's very cool. You know, Kim Newman, the guy who's on literally everything everywhere. <laughs> and why not? I mean, he's a pretty... Uh, you know, author big big time authority on all things uh, classic horror, and always has fascinating stuff to talk about. Uh, Crypt of the Vampire. Uh, this one we just have a trailer, so I have a feeling this is the exclusive movie. And then we have Challenge the Devil. We have uh, Dance with the Devil. Interview with Roberto Curti, author of Mavericks of Italian Cinema. The Importance of Being Giorgio, an interview with Giorgio Artisan over two decades, and the original trailer. And then, of course, we also have Relics from the Crypt. So let's just take a look there and see what we've got here. This is, there's a lot of stuff on here. Let's see what we got. So we have Horror, triple exclamation mark, a 1964 Swiss documentary short by Pierre Koralnik, featuring interviews with Christopher Lee, Boris Karloff, Vincent Price, Roger Corman, and Roy Ashton. Uh, 16 minutes, French with English subtitles. The Man Behind the Mask, Christopher Lee Remembers Boris Karloff, a new edit of an unfinished 1991 documentary by Ian Ruff. 34 minutes, that's very cool. Cinescope, a 1976 Belgian TV interview with Salim Sasson. 52 minutes, French with English subtitles. Colin Grimshaw interviews Christopher Lee in 1975. 17 minutes. An audio interview with Christopher Lee, accompanied by stills from the DelVal archive and video introduction with David DelVal, 27 minutes. Monsters and Vampires, an interview with pioneering horror movie historian Alan Frank, 15 minutes. The Crypt Keepers, making of Crypt of the Vampire featurette with screenwriter Ernesto Gastaldi, assistant director Tonino Valeri, and film historian Fabio Malelli. 34 minutes, Italian with English subtitles. So yeah, so we actually do get an extra for this, but it's on this disc, which I'm pretty sure is also exclusive to this set. So a couple reasons for you to get it. So all the Crypt of the Vampire stuff is kept, uh, you know, kept... Uh, relegated to the exclusive discs. Then we have O Solo O Solo Mio, it's now in it's sorry, O Solo Mio, it's now or never and she'll fall for me. Christopher Lee and Gary Curtis music videos with optional Gary Curtis audio commentary, 8 minutes. And we have outtakes from To the Devil of a Daughter and Theater of Death, a 2001 DVD interview session, including the most frightening films ever, Black Masses, Mission to Moscow, and more. And finally, we have a University uh, College Dublin 2011 Q&A with Sir Christopher Lee. So that is such a treasure trove of stuff. Like, wow. How did they even find all that stuff? That's, that's amazing to me. And then finally, Castle of the Living Dead. We have a nice little selection of extras here. We've got audio commentary by Mondo Digital's Nathaniel Thompson and film writer Troy Howarth. Another audio commentary by film writer Kat Ellinger. From the Castle to the Academy, career interview with master producer Paul Maslansky. The Castle of the Mystery Man, Roberto Curti, author of Mavericks of Italian Cinema on writer-director Warren Kiefer. And a bonus disc of the soundtrack by Angelo E. Lavagnino, yes, so I'm butchering that name, I'm terribly sorry, and I just noticed Donald Sutherland is in this too, so it's an early Donald Sutherland film, that's awesome, well, there's so many reasons to watch that, so, finally, we have the book, I think this is like an 80-page book too, it's, it's pretty extensive, so, Christopher Lee, The Continental Connection, by Jonathan Rigby, so, Look at this. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Glossy, beautiful pages. Lots of photos. I mean, it just goes on and on. There's there's so much stuff here about his career and, and, and all the big notable movies he did and everything. This is just fantastic. I mean, if you're... A fan of the man, 
you can't go wrong with this. I mean, this is this is just a huge love letter to Christopher Lee and all the wonderful things he brought us over the course of his career. And um, I love the fact that this set also, like the movies in it, aren't the typical Christopher Lee movies that you, you see and hear about all the time. It's, it's a collection of obscure, rarely seen gems, uh, some of which, as I say, I mean, are, are either getting Blu-ray releases for the first time or are getting vastly upgraded Blu-ray releases from what we've had before. And I mean, it's just phenomenal the amount of work that went into this set. I mean, as soon as I read the contents of it, it was a no-brainer. I just had to had to have this in my collection. I mean, this is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yes, we're only halfway through the book. <laughs> There's so much stuff. This is like a full-on novel, almost. I mean, it's just amazing. A Fu Manchu, Rasputin. Wow. Just so much great stuff. Yeah, the Fu Manchu movies I haven't seen. I, I only have the two uh, that Jess Franco directed. I need to get the other three. There's a nice set from um, Indicator, actually, that has all five of them. I might uh, might grab that at some point. It's region B locked, but uh, hey, I've got a region free player now, so... Oh yeah, Vampire Kawadaduk. That, or, yeah, that's uh, basically a, a weird art film that's the making of uh, Count Dracula. Yeah, this one, Jess Franco's Count Dracula. I reviewed that a few Halloweens ago. Uh, great movie. I really enjoyed that one a lot. And here he is doing Theater of the Macabre. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Beautiful. That's the cover on the, uh, the set. There you go. In Search of Dracula. I think that's, uh, that got a new release recently. I have an old DVD of it. Horror Express, that's uh, that's a great movie. It's actually another adaptation of Who Goes There, the story that uh, The Thing was based on. So, yeah, so you've got The Thing from Another World, John Carpenter's The Thing, but you've also got Horror Express. Those are three three movies based on the same story. And then we've got the new one coming from Blumhouse, actually, which is being adapted from Frozen Hell, the uh, recently uncovered full-length manuscript version. So, very cool. Yeah, I remember seeing Horror Express a number of years ago just on an El Cheapo public domain DVD, which I still have. Um, but the Arrow version is apparently vastly superior in every conceivable way. And there we go. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Wow, it's hard to believe it's been uh, six years already since he passed away. It just uh, feels like he's always been with us, you know. So, put everything back in the box. So I'm just going to, uh, let's see, slide these ones in. And slide these ones in very carefully. There we go. You can see kind of a, a closer, closer look at it there side and then we'll just pull back a little bit and there you go the euro crypt of christopher lee collection from severin films absolutely worth picking up if you're a fan of christopher lee this is this is i, I know i use the term treasure trove a lot but this truly is a treasure trove of rarities and stuff you're likely not going to see anywhere else anytime soon if ever uh well worth picking up if you're a fan of the man himself. And there you go. I'm sure you'll agree, an absolute must-have for any Christopher Lee fans Blu-ray collection. Some really amazing stuff in there that I can't wait to dive into. As always, if you would like to add this set to your collection, I will include Amazon links in the description below. Now, some of the films will eventually be available individually. If they are available individually by the time this video goes up, I'll be sure to include those links as well. And big thanks to those of you who use my Amazon links because it does send a little kickback my way. Doesn't cost you any extra, but it means you can help to support the stream as you shop, and I really appreciate that a lot. Alrighty, well that is it for me to you for now, so thank you very much for watching. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors. Be sure to catch me on Twitch. I stream just about every day. 
and I will see you next time. Until then, sayonara. Yeah.